This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Use the link below to get your first month free. All right, let's make this. For the color, grab a noise texture and a color map. Press Ctrl Shift T to get the coordinates. We'll be using the object. Plug that into the vector and plug the color ramp into the base color. Now choose a grayish color for your metal and slide the color stop over just a bit. We're gonna change the noise scale and detail. Then change the material to metallic. Next, we'll grab a Voronoi texture and plug the same object vector into it. Now let's mix a noise texture into this. Grab a mix RGB and set the distance to color one and the factor to be color two. Plug the object vector into the noise and let's add a bump node. Plug the mix into the height and the normal into the normal. Great, now let's hone in the detail. We'll change the Voronoi scale to 1.9 and change the output from F1 to smooth F1. For the noise, let's plug the factor into the random socket for extra detail. Now we can change the detail slider to 3.7 and increase the distortion just a touch. The bump is crazy strong, so let's bring that way down and move on to making scratches. Grab a noise texture and a color ramp. Plug them together and plug in the object vector to the noise as well. Now we'll make some small scratches. Add some scale, detail, roughness, and distortion to the noise. You'll see it's not very visible, so we'll want to crunch the color stops together to get a solid mask. Once you're happy with that, duplicate the bump node, plug the normal into the normal socket, and plug the color ramp into the height. Now let's layer more scratches onto this. Duplicate the noise and color ramp. Connect them up and add some variations to the noise texture. I landed on these values here. Once you're happy with yours, it's time to repeat the process. Duplicate the bump and plug the color ramp into the height. Lastly, let's add one more layer of scratches. Grab a wave texture and plug in the object vector. Now get a mix RGB and a musgrave texture. Mix them together and let's start playing with the settings. For the musgrave, I used these values and for the wave texture, I used these values. Now, duplicate the color ramp above and play with the stops until you find a pattern that you like. I used this for mine. Alright, now duplicate another bump node and plug in the color ramp to the height. The last step is to hone the dents and the roughness. Let's add a color ramp and plug this between the mix and the bump node. Now change the color value to something gray and crunch the stop in just a bit. Finally, let's plug the color ramp into the roughness socket. If you need to, Adjust your slider until the metal feels more damaged. All that's left to do now is save this out for future projects. If you want to download this material for free, I've put it up on my Gumroad for anyone who's interested. Don't forget to pick up your free month of Skillshare using the link below, and thanks for watching.